Hey, welcome to Killer Hope. Um, right now, it's just a killer. Uh, Hope will be here later. Um, and we're about to talk to Josh Leonard. I'm so glad to be here. And I fucking hate Hope anyway. So, <laughs> I mean, not Ted, just as a concept, the concept of Hope. Well, it's a good thing we so said overrated. Killer Hope instead of Hope Killer. <laughs> then that would have been a little uh... All right, so you're here with your, not your directorial debut, but your directorial feature debut. I, let's go with uh, narrative feature directorial All right, that's debut. right, because you because you made a documentary. I did. Okay, cool. I did. So um, just to be really specific, yeah, uh, here with the lie, which is um, which it, we actually started branding. Um, we have our own water line, which <laughs> you know I, I I think that we may be the first independent film to break into water bottling. So tell me about the lie. It's delicious. Um, the lie is a labor of love that um, that I directed and, and acted in mm -hmm. um, about two years ago. And it was, it was one of those stories that, that, that had a ton of um, a, a ton of heart and a, and a ton of uh, uh, kind of ethical subtext to it, but it was the, the concept was funny enough and high concept enough that. I, th I thought it would make for a really, hopefully, fantastic movie. Excellent. And this is really its world premiere. This is. And you're also in Vera's film. I am. Uh, Vera Farmiga. Yep. Directed I, was, I was on the jury with her here, actually, like really? five or six years ago. Isn't she lovely? Yeah, it was really fun. It was, I was with <coughs> her and John C. Riley. You're lucky. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get into the fall. I've been coming here for, I, I, you've got a good eight eight, nine years on me. I was here for the first time in 98. Well, I've been coming here so long that it was called the USA Film Festival the first year that it's, I was it's, here. It's astounding that it's not called the, uh, the, the Fashan away from home <laughs> at this point. But, um, but yes, I, I, I'm trying to get into the fold, like you people who get juries and advisory boards. I'm very jealous. So when's your premiere? Um, our premiere is um, Saturday night day after tomorrow, 9 p.m. at the Yarrow. Because one of the things that, when I was on the jury, that was sort of amazing, was that I saw like director after director come up um, and present their movies and really choke up, because getting here was such an extraordinary experience. And it actually, I thought that would make me cynical, but in fact, it had the opposite effect. And by the third or fourth one, I was sort of choking up right, up, right along with them. You know, I, I so get that. I so get that. And, and, you know, although we all know that there's, there's a long journey that happens after the festival, I think just, just getting here is, um, it, it's such a lovely group of, who are, who are now kind of peers. When I first started coming, they were, um, you know, everybody was, was mentors and, and it was just this club that I really wanted to join. And, and now that I've been doing it a while, I, I, have a, I have a number of friends here and who have made their own films. And, and there is so much solidarity in that because we're all, you know, we're all working with two nickels and a cup of coffee right. trying to make our films. And, right. um, and to actually have an arrival place, like a place to come to celebrate each other um, is really... You know, it's, it's really wonderful, and, and I totally get, um, you know, I'm sure I'll cry. <laughs> I'm a crier. <laughs> and, and, and I think part of it is just that breath of rela relief, mm -hmm. you know, that... That, that you, you ran the race. That you ran the race, and, and, and that you, you get to share it not only right. with a group of people, but a, a group of people who you really um, esteem, and, and people who inspire you. And so you're going to hop basically from, from your movie then to go, I, I assume, support Vera's. Yes. Yes, we've got uh, the premiere of The Lie is Saturday night, and then Vera's film premieres Sunday, I think, at noon at the Eccles, maybe 11.30. But, and that, that was, you know, we both were in the situation. I, I shot mine first. I mean, we shot over a year ago, so we shot last November. Um, and then shortly thereafter, a few months thereafter, I jumped into her film, and I was directing and mm -hmm. uh, acting in mine. And then she, 
she was doing the exact same, except that she had me beat because she was also five and a half months pregnant. <laughs> so, so she was taking none of my stories of woe right, off, off right, our set. Right, right, right. When we, yeah, uh, she's we had... like, "Bitch, I got a baby." <laughs> <Right. Come> on. <laughs> One of the things we want to talk about on this on this show is social media and your audience and how you find your audience. Mm -hmm. And has that been something that you use, <coughs> um, you know, uh, as as a way of reaching out to you know to the people that you know, want to see your work? Well, I, I mean, in, in so many ways, we're really in the, uh, in the embryonic stages of, of finding our audience. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a Facebook page. Um, Excellent. <laughs> live movie at Facebook. <laughs> um, and, um, and, and there's certainly, I, I mean, the digital community, I think, uh, is has, has been very supportive to us in terms of, you know, we're in a day and age where, um, you know, the transfer of information is so expedited that, you know, we wrap production and somebody who, like, digs me or digs Jess Weitzler right. from the film is like, hey, they wrapped production. Right, right. And, and, you know, there's something really lovely about it because the people who are, who are kind of hopefully built in as an audience for us because uh, because of uh, uh, shared interests uh, really f feel like they get to participate I guess absolutely in some way in in the process absolutely and I mean I we do it you know when we when we're shooting we try and keep updating what's going on I mean although I always say it's too bad that don't people won't tweet the real stories like. <laughs> You know, like that bitch actress wouldn't come out of her trailer, <laughs> or, or you know, we um, the, the, the wiki, we lost the light. The, the and, WikiLeaks of the film community. Yeah, we can know, start that. Instead, it tends to be a lot of like, you know, great performance by, you know, what a great day we had. Yeah, I mean, we we all stay pretty political in the uh, in the public venues. I find one of the things that we want to do actually uh, uh, later towards the release of our film is. You know, the, 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 the center of, of the lie is, um, you know, as told in the title about, about a guy who tells this kind of life-altering lie, and mm -hmm. it happens inadvertently and quickly and mm -hmm. kind of ch changes the direction of his life. And, uh, and one of the things we thought would be fun was to essentially build a website where people could anonymously um, log on and, 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 and kind of confess their own worst lies. Because already, already on, on message oh, boards, um, you know, some people find out what the lie is, and and either a they judge us, or b they take solace in the fact and then tell us their story of, you know, well, when I was in college, I you know said that my father had an aneurysm or or whatever that is, and kind of kind of make a confessional forum, which I thought would be interesting. And then if people want to put their names on, even better, <laughs> I'll put my name on. So I want to talk a little bit about directing yourself. Sure. Because, um, you know, I made, uh, I produced a movie years ago called Hedwig and the Angry Inch, uh -huh. which came here. John's movie, sure. It, and, you know, it was, it was this, you know, at first it seemed like, of course you can't direct yourself. You have to be in hair and makeup for four and a half hours every day. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we supposed that, to do that, while you do that? I think that is somewhat specific to that film. Um, but, uh, but it actually, it was, uh, it was. I mean, of course, who else could have done it? And it was an sure. extraordinary movie. And, um, but I remember watching him deal with, you know, the, the fact that he was, had to uh, deal with his own performance and mm -hmm. kind of figure it out, but also make sure that all the other actors felt that they were getting the attention that they wanted from their director. So what was it like for you? I think um, I think it's a tricky. It, it's certainly a tricky balance, and 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 the jobs don't necessarily go together. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, in in some ways, they're really um, diametrically opposed in in terms of what you're trying to keep your eye on. Um, I was extremely fortunate on our film that um, that the group of collaborators that I was working with, I had a both previous relationships and uh, and an inherent trust for. And so, um, you know, look, we were, we were on a fast and furious shooting schedule, so there were certainly times that I couldn't watch playback and I couldn't mm -hmm. look at the monitor and I couldn't, um, 
I couldn't quality control to the extent that I, I would have liked to. And, and if I hadn't had Ben Kasulke shooting the movie, right. who, who was our DP from Hump Day, or Mary Pat Bentel, who was my producing partner, who I trust, you know, with my life um, to tell me what they were seeing, I think I would have been much more neurotic about it. Um, in terms of the experience for the other, I think for crew it was fine because mm -hmm. I, I could I could have technical conversations sure. inside. I think for cast occasionally, especially because so much of the movie was improvised, it would get confusing because um, in the middle of a scene we would try, I, I would realize that we weren't hitting a story right. point. So I would be acting in the scene with Jess Weixler and trying to steer her in, right. in the direction of a story point and she wouldn't, it, it would take a beat to catch up whether it was me as director right, or me right, as the character right. improvising, um, talking. And so, so you would have to talk to them about how frustrating <laughs> that was. <laughs> okay, and then just, you know, back at Sundance now, and this, so this has probably been coming at least for eight to 10 years. Yeah, nine, 98, 98 was my first time here. As so, a photog photographer for Black Book Magazine. Wow. Yeah, and then 99 with Blair Witch. And that's right, of course, and Blair mm -hmm. Witch was such a, you know, was such a sort of um, lightning rod for. It was, it was a moment. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it was great, yeah, it was, it was great. But so, I mean, you know, look, I hear a lot of people complain about the changes here. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, even just coming in this morning, it's kind of like that French proverb, the more it changes, the more it stays the same. And, you know, there's years where it feels, you know, you, you, the movie you want to get attention isn't. Right. And years where, you know, you feel like you're on top of the world. I just wanted to know if you had any sort of, you know, perspective um, since you've been here as an actor, as a director, as a director of a short, as a director of a documentary. I think, you know, as you said, it's it's like, you know, it's like New Yorkers, like, oh well, it wasn't the same when I was in the East Village, <laughs> you know, and and um, and I think certainly, you know, certainly some of the ancillary commercial elements to the festival, I think, can be a little distracting from. You're not going to get your free pair of Levi's. Oh fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I wouldn't participate in it. When in Rome, darling. You know, they never um, ask me. Um, but what I, what I do want to say to that is that, um, you know, Trevor Groth, John Cooper, Shari, those guys have been so vigilant about continuing to um, program a really wide variety where, where, where I think everybody kind of feels invited. I mean, Hump Day was a film that we shot for no money, right. completely improvised, three actors, and they put that film in competition. And, and so I think in terms and of... And I saw it there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, and, and, and so I think, I think Sundance as, as, as the institute, as the festival, mm -hmm. is really doing their jobs um, in terms of, you know, in terms of, of, of continuing to carve out a place to keep films truly independent and help them find an audience. Well, thank you. And, you, you so know, welcome. good luck with the lie. Thank you. And, um, you know, I hope, to, I hope that one of these days I'm sitting here talking to you about the movie we're going to do together. I hope so, too. That would so. be lovely. I'm a huge fan, and, and I hope you enjoy our water as I well. I do. I do. Thank you so much. Thanks, Christine.